right, this one here is for September. And as a mom, what I love is when my kids color for me. So I thought crayons, and the next thing you know, I'm like, what can I do with crayons? There's gotta be something I can do with crayons. So I created a vase, why not? All I did was wrap some ribbon around, hot glued the crayons around the container, slapped the ball on it, and blah, blah. We've got a beautiful arrangement. I wanted to use the rainbow roses again this year in the calendar because they are a very popular item. They are expensive, but the thing is they have the certain wow well factor. And even if you don't want to carry rainbow roses, you can say, of course I can do that arrangement. We can do it in red. We can do it all different colors of roses. It doesn't have to be rainbow. Always remember, it's just an idea. Now you got to take this idea and make it yours. I use a beautiful kind of bubblegum colored piece of ribbon. And what I have to do is we're just going to line it and get my ribbon shears. Give it a nice cut. And wha-bam. Glue it on here. Get your hot glue gun out. Oh my gosh, the hot glue gun is my friend. I mean, if you really wanted to leave it clear at the top, go ahead. But you got to remember, there's going to be something in the bottom. You're still going to have to hide your oasis. So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing. And I love the number nine because it's a lot less ribbon that you have to use. And the reason that I'm using the ribbon all the way around, as opposed to just where the top of the vase is, because the bottom of the vase, technically, the crayons will hide the bottom of the vase. But as we learned during this photo shoot, and it, again, it's sometimes when I have these ideas, it's trial and error, because I've never made this before, before the other day. Um, we went to take it out of the cooler, and because the cooler is so cold, the glue loosened, and the crayons decided to come off the, the vase. But so, one of my senior designers, Colleen, came up with the idea to use ribbon all the way down, and actually, it worked really well. I just went out to um, the craft store and bought a box of crayons. It doesn't have to be Crayola. Crayola. The only reason I use Crayola is because I wanted the Crayola to be on the outside, because it's such a well-known crayon. We'll just grab some colors, do some blue, and I'm just going to go ahead and start. This is fun doing things backwards. I'm getting quite ambidextrous, ambidextrous. I need a dictionary, I'm told all the time. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little line here, do, 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 nice glue. All right, and because it's not being glued directly to the vase now, we can actually do that. If you glue it directly to the vase, what will happen, and I'm speaking here from experience, is glue hardens so quick, so you have to actually glue the crayon. And as good as that is, the crayon starts to melt. See, I'm telling you all this stuff because of my experiences. You don't have to do this on a six by six vase either. You could do this on a round vase, like a cylinder vase. You could do this on a small four by four vase. Who says it has to be on a big square vase? Don't you love glue strings? <laughs> they actually make me kind of laugh. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm going to put this one on the nice white one. It'll look fantastic against that green, and then we'll just flip the side. All right. Okay, gosh. Here we go. And whoops. Let's see. There we are, and she's in. Ta-da! Easy as pie. Again, just using your imagination. Okay, so now what we want to do is get ready to have the um, rainbow roses put in. Now I have a six inch ball that has been soaking while I do that, but as I learned, it's too small. So, what do you do? Right, because I don't want to use a big eight inch ball because that would be huge. All I did was I took a piece of dry foam and I kind of measured to see how big my little container is. It looks about the right size. And I just put it in dry. 
in the container, all right? And you can glue that to your container if you would like to drizzle some glue on it and glue it right in. It won't go anywhere, but it won't go anywhere anyway. And then what I did is I took my glue gun and just gave a really good bunch of glue there. All right, so I'll show you just like that. And put it in and drop your six inch ball there and hold it on for a second. I know it's wet, but I promise you it will stick together. You just gotta hold it for a second. There, and now you've got a secured ball. All right, and you could also, um, you know, cut a little flat piece if you like. I didn't in this particular instance. Okay, rainbow roses. Oh, these are from Holland. And I tell you what, I'll use that, it's silly. They're absolutely spectacular. And you know, I, I've seen them now. I think uh, some of the other farms are starting to produce them. I've yet to see them as nice as the ones that come out of Holland. All right, so when you do a ball, what can I tell you? Pick a spot, shove a rose there. And I put it in about an inch. All right, I'm gonna use a knife, see? I like to use my knife because I can keep it in my hand and it goes so much faster rather than picking shears up, putting shears down. And you know what? If this is uh, expensive for you in your shop, you could use carnations. You could use mini carnations. You could use mums would be kind of a fun thing to do. It could be all different colors. One color, one color crayon. You can buy those, no crayons at all. It's just the idea. Or do the crayon vase and just do an arrangement in it like you normally would. Why not? These are just beautiful. You can get these on your standing order, as I have. But you know what I find with these? You really have to promote them. Like a Valentine's Day, people went hog crazy wild over these things. We had them in the newspaper and honest to God, I don't think I've seen an ad work that well for me in years. So we'll do that again next year. doesn't actually take long, especially these ones are open a little bit, which is great. That's the way I like to put them in spears, is having them a little bit more open. Almost done. And I used about 50 roses. So again, you could get rid of 50 carnations pretty darn quick. Or 50 colored roses, or whatever it is you wanna get rid of that week. Gerbera daisies could be fun to do, a little more difficult with the uh, teeth and stuff. And sometimes, because I've done gerbs and balls, I have found them a little harder to kind of just push in there without damaging the gerbera itself. But. spots and we're golden look at that just enough voila you have the stems and a beautiful ball so easy to do the only time consuming part was the crayons but it's worth the time to put in so use your imagination and go ahead and have fun and think outside the box oh my god on fire all right thanks Thank you.